Hey guys, it's Joanne. Happy January and welcome back to the Pinspiration Collaboration 2020. Uh, this is hosted by Creations by Kimber. She, as well as all of the amazing ladies involved, will be linked down below. So um, pretty much what it is once a month and we post the last Saturday of the month um, at noon, I believe. It's at noon. Uh, and we just take something that inspired us on Pinterest, thus Pinspiration, and we recreate it and we show all you guys and that's about it. All right. So um, this month I was kind of, I don't know, like we're doing a lot and I didn't want, you know, I was running out of time and, but it's early. I'm making this video like days ahead of time. Um, but I figured I have to make a masculine birthday card. And sometimes I don't do so good just, you know, picking things out on my on my own. And I don't have that eye and and that. So I went on to Pinterest. I will put a little picture in the video after um, sometime during this video. I'll include the picture and I will include the link uh, down below to the Pinterest pin that I used. So I already have everything cut out just to save some time. And I actually cut it out twice, only because I tend to mess up. So it's best to have it um, already done, or why not make two at a time? Like my husband says, if you're making one, why not make two? Now that he usually references food with that, um, but it's true sometimes with crafting too. So you're making one card, why not make two while you have everything out and you're doing everything the same? So I just pulled out, um, so these are the papers that I'm gonna use for the card, the different color card stocks. Um, I pulled out some stamps, uh, different stamps, because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to use. Um, I don't have too many, um, like, just regular happy birthday sentiments, and so I really only have, like, two. I have this standard one that came, I think it was, like, EK Crafts or something, and it came with a whole bunch of different sentiments just in a block stamp like this, and then I found one on this pad here that just says happy birthday. Um, but I don't know. I thought maybe that looked too childish. This is for my brother-in-law in Canada. So we're going international with this one, guys. Um, and then, so then I found this stamp here on this Stampin' Up! set, um, birthday cheer. And it says for your birthday. So I'm like, why can't we put for your birthday on the front of the card rather than, um, happy birthday, right? Same thing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to take a little break, get a little bit organized here, and then we're going to come back and um, we're going to either make this card or I'm going to show you this card when it's done. Okay, I'm back. So, of course, I made the card, um, but I am going to show you guys what I used um, and how I did it and how I struggled a little bit. But I think the card came out really cute. I think it's very... Um, masculine this is still wet so i don't want to mess that's my thing guys i will mess something up at the very end of the project because i did not let it dry <clears throat> and then on the inside just a simple stamp i didn't layer up the inside um i don't know why okay so we're just gonna set this guy over here oh but let me okay so what i used um i just cut out my different layerings for my card and I always have my little cheat sheet here as to what size. So it's your regular um, A4 card, I wanna say, but you know, it's your eight and a half by 11 cut down. So um, it's five and a half by four and a quarter, if that math is correct. And then I have my, um, my layering dimensions. So the next piece down would be five and a quarter by four and then five by three and a quarter. So you just kind of chop a quarter inch off each time from each side each time you do it. So I cut these out, they cut out fine. I don't know what is wrong with my um, paper cutter whenever I go to cut this black cardstock, and this is Recollections um, cardstock. It just, like it, like it doesn't make a clean, clean cut. So I don't know if it's the, maybe the paper is too thick, maybe I should use a different paper cutter. So. I just usually take it and kind of smooth it down on the side so that you can't tell um, what I did. And then I took my dot runner. This is an Elmer's dot runner. I'm not too picky about my dot runners. Um, I usually get what's on sale or what have you. Um, but another thing I wanted to do real fast because I noticed when I cut and scored this, 
it's not completely even. Can you see that here? Yeah, like it's not, and I hate that. Oh, don't you guys hate that? I mean, I know that paper crafting is not a perfect uh, science, but if you can get your edges clean and lined up, more the better. Okay, so I just took the regular card, and this is all, um, I believe this is all Michael's Recollections paper. And I'm just gonna take my runner, which is probably, did it just run? Yep, it's just gonna run out on me, so hang on. I have another one here. I try not to use this one too much. This is um, the snail adhesive from Stampin' Up. Oh, did I run out of this too, guys? Oh no, I'm upside down. <laughs> Okie dokie. I used to use wet glue on all my cards and I just didn't like the way it looked. Um, either glue would be hanging out the back, you know, the sides or, um, all right. So then we're just going to eye this on our card. Um, or the card would tend to, um, buckle with the glue. Maybe I use too much, but see how my black ends are kind of like out here like this. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. So then I usually will do that, put that aside and then work on my front piece so when I did this one, I always try and like stamp off on some scrap paper first, just to see how I'm going to like it before I go and commit to the card. So I use these little dune, what do we call dune, um, seagrass, beach grass, I don't know. And then I use two of my stamping pads here. And I used the Mossy Meadow. I did it two colors. I was like, ooh, let's try two colors and soft suede. So since I already kind of did it and know what it's going to look like, uh, I'm just going to put my, should I flip this over? That's kind of wet. I don't want to mess it up, but I just want the corner. I just want the corners. Like I want it stamped like on the corner. So if I go off, that's okay. So we just did a couple stamps with this color. And kind of like off-centered. Um, that's my washing machine behind me, if you can hear that. And then I just kind of wipe it off. I know, I use a baby wipe. Not ideal, but it's cheap and it works for me. Um, and then, so, all right. So that was the soft suede. Then we're going to use this mossy meadow. And I always find with stamping, guys, try to be, have your surface as flat as possible. Um, the green's kind of like really green, right? I did it the opposite way on the other one. So, okay. I think that looks cute. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay. So I don't want to turn this into a really long video, but, but you never know what happens, right? Okay. So we have that put that off to the side and then I have this color blocks uh, little mini ink pad chalk it says uh, chestnut Rowan and I used that to stamp the for your birthday I think this one I just kind of went like this I've gotten a little bit better at stamping when I first started um, my I would go to stamp and I would have ink like all around the image and that so we're just gonna put for your birthday up here. I thought about putting it on a, um, um, you know, cutting out a little banner and putting it on that, but it's like, let's try and keep this card as flat as possible since we are going international. That way I only have to put regular stamps on it and I don't have to worry about anything like that. So, okay, so that's the card. Now here is where I ran into a little bit of a problem because I wanted to stamp a little bird on there, you know? And I look through all my stamps and believe it or not, I don't have any birds. I have chicks and chickens and hens and flamingos and owls, but no, just little bird. So I don't know. I don't know that I need to have a bird. I just wanted one for this particular project. And then I was looking for, I used to have a bunch of brown um, sequins, like a tan brown gold sequin that I wanted to to put on and I couldn't find those. I think I used them all. So I found these little gold, um, like enamel dots. And then I just put one next to the for your birthday, all right? So couldn't find the sequins, couldn't find something to bling it out. And I'm like, yeah, 
stickles guys stickles so all i did and i found um this is called mercury glass and it turned you know it's kind of like a gold um so all i did with this is uh i just kind of went down some of the um the lines here just you know nothing uh what's the word i'm looking for I just pick and chose nothing you know <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about and then just to give it a little more and i think this added like so much more to the card than just keeping it plain so let's bring it all the way down to the bottom and then And that's really it guys so once this dries um i would have put it on top of the card base had i not stickled it already so now that i stickled it i can't do that but the other part to the card because we know we have to have a little let's put that over here so that can dry and then i have to leave this room for a couple hours so that i don't come back and forget that it's wet um and then i'm just going to use this uh, early espresso stamp and pad to put the sentiment on the inside and all it says is time for a spectacular celebration and we're just gonna stamp that it's good i'm gonna stand up for this guys um is in the center as make sure i'm on the right side i have a habit of doing these things upside down and then time for a spectacular celebration and there you go there's your card so here's the finished card and guys, I thought they came out really nice. Um, so I did make the two of them. So I will have one on hand. Um, again, I did stay safe this month, but I enjoyed making uh, the card. I hadn't made a card in a while. So it was nice to come on here with you guys and make the card. So I'm, I'm hoping I didn't make this video too long. I am going to go now. Uh, please remember to check out the ladies down below. And I will see you next month on... Saturday. Let me tell you the date, guys. Let me check my calendar. The last Saturday of next... Oh, wow. There's 29 days in February this year? That's what my calendar says. It's a leap year. How come I didn't know that already? Nobody has said a word about that. All right. Well, happy leap year, and I will see you guys next month.